Evening everybody, uh, we're just uh, going to give you a quick summary of what happened today at the uh, uh, hearing. Yep, it's Robert here and Martin. Yep, hello. We're, yeah, we're actually not in, in we're back in Kettering because um, we had to bring our barrister back to his posh hotel, the um, Barton Hall. Ah. Hi, yes, we're back again. Yeah, as Robert was saying, we're, we're here at the Barton Hall where uh, Paul Stinchcombe's staying. Uh, we've just come away from the uh, hearing at uh, Thrapston and this morning <clears throat> was mainly focusing on uh, the ecology, wasn't it, Robert? Yeah, we had uh, Martin uh, and, and Catherine, sorry, not Martin and Not Catherine. Martin. Uh, Adam, Adam and Catherine and uh, they, they both did incredibly well. It was uh, pretty tough. Uh, forum there it's uh, you know you're you're in front of a lot of people you're not getting actually much help from the barrister and that's not the barrister's mm. fault it's just you're on your own really getting questions from the inspector but anyway they did really really well both of them and I think we it's hard to tell but I think we stand a reasonable chance on ecology we always know it's going to be tough but the main thing is to give it our best shot and I think uh, with uh, these two witnesses and the statements they put in beforehand we've done as well as we possibly can. Yeah, what, what I liked is that afterwards Paul said that he can take a lot of this stuff away, he can write it up and put it into his final statement so even though he didn't have a chance to really uh, question their witness on ecology he's picked up on an awful lot of stuff that was said that can be used towards the end. <clears throat> After that we had a, a pretty boring afternoon to be honest. We were listening to the landscape evidence. First of all uh, the witness for the council. Uh, she was a bit unsteady to start with. Um, she then got into a stride. She was under some fairly skillful I have to say but uh, you could say rather bullying cross-examination from the uh, Buclu barrister. Um, I thought she stood up to it very well, though towards the end I think she started to sort of wilt under the pressure. But anyway, she did pretty well. And then we had to um, listen to <coughs> the uh, Buclu uh, witness on landscape. Uh, a very self-assured lady who um, certainly knows how to butter up the inspector. It's very noticeable that after everything she said, she punctuated with "sir." Uh, <laughs> felt like she was really licking up to him. Yeah, I bet she was. Uh, yeah, I bet she was like that as a kid too. Anyway, um, no, she hasn't done too badly so far. I have to say, uh, whatever we might think of her. Uh, some of the stuff that she said really was pretty hard to take because basically she was saying the, um, they, have a, they had an area in which to develop, they had various things said in policy 36, they had to do some, uh, or they reckon they had to do some warehouses, they couldn't put them down the Bowton House end because that would have wrecked the view from Bowton House, so basically they had to go up the other end, that's pretty much her. <laughs> That's pretty much what she said, isn't that? Right? Yeah, pretty pretty well. I, I felt she was. If you if you're going to feel like coming along next week to talk, then I think this is the woman that is going to motivate you because she was basically saying, even though the public uh, love this area, um, I think it's uh, industrial an industrial landscape at the back. So therefore, adding a bit more industrial really isn't going to do damage at all. Yeah, mm -hmm. and this really did unfortunately emphasise what a tragedy it was that the council decided to grant planning permission to um, I.M. Kelly for their phase two because that came up time and time and time again the fact that there's going to be another building on there at the same size as the phase one building which of course does close down the bottom end um, but to be fair to the council lady she did you know she stuck up for herself pretty well saying that um, of course, you've got the whole of you know, the whole of the far end is a long way from the from the southern end. 
anyway there we are so as martin says if if you if you listen to the live stream or the recording of today's events especially this afternoon you're going to get your motivation to turn out next wednesday evening and that's what we really want you to do yeah so uh, don't forget if you haven't heard already there is no public meeting this evening so if you want to come you've got to come between 6 30 and 9 o'clock next wednesday the 6th of december and please uh, do come along because i think especially after hearing the evidence today i think it would be good to have more members of the public tell the inspector how they feel about the place okay well it's uh martin and robert signing off yep. from the barton hall hotel <laughs> i'd love to say we're just about to go in and have a drink but I suspect we're not, but anyway, no, we might. I think it's time to go home and make dinner <laughs> instead. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Thank you very much. Yeah. Night. Bye bye.